Guess who just woke up? So, it's 2, almost 3 p.m. here in the afternoon in Seattle, Washington. I'm on a vacation, which is why I pre-recorded a lot of videos. But when you have trades that go down in the middle of your beauty sleep, you kind of have to get out there with some bedhead, with some pretty shiny forehead here, and talk about it for the YouTube channel. The Montreal Canadiens have traded Jeff Petrie and Ryan Paling to the Pittsburgh Penguins in exchange for defenseman Mike Matheson and a fourth round pick. This trade on paper might not seem like a lot because Jeff Petrie is this guy that was super valuable for the Canadians when they went to the finals and he had a whole bunch of points and he was a guy that was offensively manning that power play and Mike Matheson isn't really going to be able to do that and you have Ryan Paling who is a young player getting sent away too. Why are you trading away future pieces, Kent Hughes? Well, this is kind of why they did it. Firstly, Mike Matheson, also right-handed defenseman, he's a lot younger than Jeff Petrie. He's six years younger than the guy. Secondly, there is some cap savings that are going to be accomplished with this move. Mike Matheson is not making the same dollar amount that Jeff Petrie was making on his contract extension that he recently signed with Mark Bergevin here at the helm. There's about $2 million in cap savings. I personally do not know the number right now because I just woke up and I read this trade notification off my phone, and now I'm recording this video here. There's Fortnite music going on in the background because there's a Nintendo Switch right there. But there's a lot of cap savings on this one. Two million dollars is not insignificant, and you're getting a lot younger with this trade. Not to mention the fact that you're getting a draft pick, which is, okay, it's whatever, it's a draft pick. The Canadians are known for getting draft picks in these kinds of moves. But when it comes to Ryan Paling getting sent away as well, this is one of those trades where value to value, you could say, darn it, man, like Petrie's worth a lot. Petrie really did start to come alive under St. Louis. We know that he's got like 30, 40 point potential. Sure, he's a bit older, but he's a right-handed defenseman that can man a power play. And Ryan Paling, as we said, 2017 guy, he's a young guy, he's still got potential. Why would you trade this guy away? It's because with the Canadians right now, I mean, you talk about the Pierre-Luc Dubois thing. They might go out there try to get him soon. You also have Nick Suzuki. You also have Kirby Dock. You also have Christian Dvorak. You also have Jake Evans. There are a lot of centers on this team already, and Ryan Paling just unfortunately has not taken that jump to being one of the guys that could compete with that group into actually being a mainstay Montreal Canadian in the long-term future. I think most Canadians fans can agree, ever since seeing Ryan Paling dominate the World Juniors for Team USA, seeing what he did with St. Cloud State, and then seeing him take all of that hype and all that success into the NHL, we've been kind of disappointed with the way he has developed so far. He's not looked terrible, but he just hasn't taken the step that you probably would have wanted him to after seeing him do so well on the international stage as well as the collegiate stage. So for Ryan Paling, it's a change of scenery. We'll see how he does in Pittsburgh. We'll see how Jeff Petrie does in Pittsburgh because, I mean, they kept Latang, which is kind of funny because everybody's saying, oh, if Latang leaves, all of a sudden Petrie can go to Pittsburgh. But no, he went to Pittsburgh anyway. Mike Matheson coming back to Montreal in return is a guy that I personally do not like. And a lot of Canadians fans might be saying, oh, why? Like, he's from Montreal, you know? You like players from Montreal. Um, if you're a Vancouver Canucks fan, you know why exactly I do not like Mike Matheson. He is the guy that kind of body-checked Elias Pettersson into the boards and then, like, choke-slammed him onto the ground and injured him in his rookie season because he got dangled. So, Mike Matheson, I don't like the guy and the way that he plays, but I think that might be a good thing. Montreal's getting a player that is defensively solid, I guess. He's difficult to play against, and he can have a temper once in a while. He also was a pretty alright shutdown defenseman for the Penguins in the Rangers series. He was a lot more noticeable than some of the others. So this is our trade right here. Jeff Petrie and Ryan Paling. Sayonara. Goodbye. You're going over to Pittsburgh in exchange for Matheson and a pick. Talk to the comments on your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. I gotta go fix myself up because I look terrible right now. <laughs> Man, that looks so bad. And bye.